friends, it's Jessie here. I am back with another video and I've got my budget video for you guys this week. Um, things have been a little crazy lately and so our budget is going to reflect that. We've got some big changes. We have decided to go into storm mode. So essentially what that is, is we are stopping all snowball payments to our debt. We are stopping anything unnecessary for the most part and we are just going to ride this out um, for a few weeks and see where everything goes so my husband works in the plumbing industry so right now he is currently still working uh, there has been no shutdown in terms of his employer so he is going to work every day he's minimizing he is minimizing his contact with people as much as possible um, so he is still getting a paycheck every week but we don't know how long that lasts like if the governor decides she's shutting everything down or if the federal government does and we can't work we got to be able to pay our bills so we are trying to just pay what is absolutely necessary for the most part and just kind of hold on to everything else um, we do have an emergency fund we also do have um, credit cards we can use in an emergency. We hope that we don't have to do that, but that is an option. So I think we're gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, definitely with everything going on with the coronavirus and everything shutting down and whatnot, we just wanna be super careful with our budget. So this video might not be super interesting or super long. We're just gonna essentially pay what's necessary and not pay what isn't so uh, we're going back to minimum payments on all our credit cards no more snowball payment for a while um, and hopefully you know we only have to hit pause on our debt-free journey for a couple of weeks but we will kind of go week by week everything has been changing so rapidly I feel like we're gonna know sooner rather than later um, what the next big thing is gonna be so um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the budget. So this is the budget for the paycheck we received on March 17th. Um, we are working with a total of $1,100. And essentially, we're just, for the most part, paying bills. I do have a little bit of extra savings that we're going to put away just because um, they're monthly savings goals. And I'd like to try to finish out the month of March. So... There will be a little bit of cash envelope stuffing, but not a whole lot. So, for our bills this week, we have Every Plate. This is a meal kit delivery service. I am so excited that I found Every Plate and that I have tried it out because this is putting food in my house, you guys. The grocery stores are crazy. Everything is being wiped out um, in terms of supplies on the shelves. We're trying to limit our, um, we are trying to limit our, um, exposure to people. So every plate's great because it's three meals a week that is being sent right to my door. Um, it's a no contact delivery service. So they just leave the box on the door. You don't have to, you know, sign for anything. Um, and this is three meals a week. It's relatively healthy food. It's nice variety of food. I did a whole every plate review on my channel yesterday. So you guys can check that out if you're interested. I'm gonna leave a link down below for every plate and it is a um, discount. So you guys can get $20 off your first every plate box. And if you sign up through that link, I also get a little bit of a credit for every plate. So it's a win-win. If you are interested in trying it out it's a great way to get food right now um, highly recommend it so every plate I have a deal that I found um, where I'm getting it a box for about $45 so that is the first line item on my budget I have planet fitness this is my very last planet fitness payment I did cancel my membership I canceled it too late for them to stop this month's payment but this will no longer be in my budget moving forward and I budgeted $23 for that as you can see my actual column here is pretty full um, because it's already pretty late in the week so 
that's that. Um, for State Farm, that is a credit card. I budgeted $30. The minimum payment was actually only $25, so we paid just the minimum payment. Um, nothing else. No extra payments right now. Amazon, I budgeted $80. We ended up paying $91. So a little bit over what I budgeted for, but that's okay. We do have a little bit of a checking account cushion. Um, you know, it's totally fine. Um, we're still going to make our campground payments, even though that is technically on a credit card and we could go to just minimum payments on that credit card. We really want to continue to make the campground payments if we can. Um, obviously that will go if things get tighter, if we need to tighten up our budget even further, but for now we're making those payments. So that's $60. Car insurance, $220 is what I budgeted. budgeted. That will be going up next month. We just bought my oldest son a car, his first car. Um, so that'll be going up to, I think like 315 next month. Um, he's 17, we bought him his first car. It's a very affordable um, old car. You know, it's almost as old as he is. We did not buy him a brand new car by any stretch of the imagination. I'll put a little picture in if you guys wanna see, but um, he was very excited about that. So that will be going up, but for now it's 220. Uh, we also have motorcycle insurance. My husband does own a motorcycle. It's paid for, free and clear. We're not making payments on it. Um, the only thing we pay, obviously, is the insurance for it. And that's, we budgeted $35 for that. For groceries, I budgeted $50. And I can tell you that we blew this budget. Um, I originally was not even planning on going to the grocery store this week, but we ran out of half and half. And if you are familiar with me at all, you know that I'm a coffee fiend, as is my husband, and we don't drink coffee without half and half. So I figured that since my husband had to go into the grocery store to get half and half anyway, he might as well stock up on a few other things. So we did go over budget. In fact, I think we spent like $100. Um, but it just, in these times right now, we are getting what we can get when we have to go into the grocery store. Like I said, um, shelves are bare, things are crazy. So I'm not worried too much about going a little bit over budget because hopefully we won't have to go shopping again for a couple of weeks. Um, for gas, I always budget $50. We're not really going anywhere. Um, so our truck is basically sitting in the driveway. We did fill up the gas tank of Robbie's car. Um, it cost us 12 whole dollars. He's got a little tiny four cylinder car. So um, we're gonna be well under our gas budget for the week. Um, and then for household, we budget $30. So the total of our bills is $623. We subtract that from our income total, which you'll remember is $1,100. And that leaves us with $477 left over. Now, the that's our budgeted category. Our actual category is going to be a little bit higher than that, but that's what the budget is. <clears throat> and like I said, we do have a checking account cushion and I'm not worried too much about going over a budget with groceries because that's just, it is what it is right now. So we're going to bring that leftover amount of $477 down to our cash envelopes. And our cash envelopes, you guys, are pretty minimal. We are not eating out. We made the decision even before our governor shut down all the restaurants in our area that we were not gonna be eating out. We were gonna limit our exposure to people. We are social distancing as much as we can. My husband obviously is still going to work, but otherwise we're not going anywhere that we don't have to, just the occasional grocery store trip. Um, so the only cash that I pulled out of the bank is my husband spending money. He does need spending money um, just to have on hand for when he's working. Um, he likes to have cash just in case he needs it. He's making an effort not to spend this money um, unless he absolutely has to, but he has it. He has $40 um, and everything else we just put on hold. So I didn't take any spending money. There's no need. I'm not leaving the house. I have not left the house um, other than a quick drive to pick up the car that we purchased my son um, in a week. So I don't need spending money. We're not eating out, so we don't need eating out money. Uh, we don't need miscellaneous money. So we literally, the only cash we did was my husband spending money for cash envelopes. And I have already given him that. So you won't see any cash envelopes being stuffed today other than these extra savings, which we'll get to in a minute. 
So our envelope total is $40. We take that from the $477, and that leaves us with $437 to move to our next category. Oops, I just pulled my whole camera. Sorry, you guys. Our next category is sinking funds, and as you can see, we're not doing any sinking funds this week. Um, we decided that it just wasn't super important to put money into our sinking funds this week. I'm hoping that we'll only have to skip this week and next week we can go back to putting money in our sinking funds. But again, I don't have any idea what it's going to be like. No clue. So for now, we're just skipping out on sinking funds. Um, you know, we have a good, solid base of sinking funds already. Um... It's not going to kill us to skip a week, so I'd rather hold on to that money. Now, obviously, had I decided to fill sinking funds and I had taken the cash out of the bank and put it into my sinking fund um, folder here, which you guys know I use this little accordion folder for that. If I had put the money in there and then we needed it, I could always pull it out. I still know that I have this cash in our sinking funds should I need it for anything. like. Um, you know, if there's an emergency and I need to pay my bills, I can always pull the money from my vacation sinking fund because obviously bills are more important than vacation. But for this week, I just kept it simple and decided against putting money into my sinking funds. Um, also, we're not making any extra debt payments, so you see our snowball is zero. Um, it's just not our priority right now. Moving into extra savings, I did decide to go ahead and pull the cash out of the bank for that. Just because we're in the middle of March, I have already um, made an effort to do my monthly savings challenge, and I just want to finish out that month. Like I said, if I need to dig into this cash to be able to pay a bill or something, I can absolutely do that, but I don't know. I guess I just wanted to finish the month out strong with my savings, and also I wanted to have um, a little bit of something to show you guys in this video, honestly. Um, my budget videos are some of my most popular videos. I really love sharing them, and I didn't want to just get on here and film a six-minute video saying, hey guys, we're, uh, you know, not spending any money. Well, that's true. Um, I at least wanted to give you guys a little bit of cash in this video. So, I am going to put this um, extra savings money into my accordion folder here in a moment, but for my March savings... I'm putting away $28 this week, and for Saveopoly, we're doing $15. Um, so that is a grand total of $43, which I have here, as I said. And we're going to take that $43 from the $437 we had left over from our last um, little section here that we budgeted for. And that's going to leave us with a leftover amount of $394. And right now, that money's just going to sit in the bank. We're not going to do anything with it. We're not going to spend it. It's not like we're going to go shopping. It's just going to sit in the bank. That way, if my husband gets sick and can't work, or if they shut stuff down, or if we have unexpected expenses due to this coronavirus, we have a little bit of money set aside. This money will just sit there. It'll roll over until next week and the following week. And however long it needs to sit there until we absolutely need it or until this whole crisis is behind us and then we will decide what to do with that money, whether it will be an extra debt payment or if we will put extra into sinking funds or whatever it is. Right now we're just in storm mode, so we're not putting out money unless we absolutely have to. So that is it for my budget overview. Um, like I said, big changes. This was not... The plan originally when we started budgeting, we were hoping that this year was going to be all about paying debt um, and doing what we had to do in that regard. But, you know, times are crazy. Things have changed. And so our priorities had to change. I recommend if you are budgeting and, um, you know, you have the ability to pause your debt snowball pause the extra spending and just pile up as much money as you can. I recommend that you do that right now because things are just uncertain and we have no idea what's going to happen. Um, hopefully you have your emergency fund in place and um, you can fall back on that if you need it. I pray that no one needs to fall back on their emergency funds and th this whole thing was behind us in a couple of weeks 
and we can all move forward with our budgeting goals. But for now, just kind of hang in there, you guys. Um, I pray that you're all doing okay and that we can stay healthy and get through this and get back to budgeting as usual. So, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and stuff my tiny amount of cash envelopes. So let me put this planner aside. Oh, by the way, I didn't even tell you guys. This is the Budget by Paycheck workbook. Let me zoom you guys out so you can see it a little bit better. This is the Budget by Paycheck workbook from The Budget Mom. I purchased the printable version for $27, um, and I just print the pages that I need. I punch them, and I put them in at the back of my big size happy planner. This is what I use for my budget planner. I have a whole video on how I set this up um, for the month of March, if you guys are interested in that, seeing which pages from the Budget by Paycheck workbook I printed, what punch I use, what supplies I use and whatnot, I will link that video for you guys. You can check it out. Um, I think it's pretty helpful. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, we'll go ahead and pull in my little accordion folder here. Sorry, you guys can see the leg of my tripod. I tried to set my camera up so that um, the angle was a little bit better. I've gotten some comments from people saying that the angle that I film my videos at makes it hard to um, watch because it makes them makes people dizzy, I guess. Um, so I tried to be more overhead than usual so it's not such a weird angle. Um, but that means that you can see the leg on my tripod. Hopefully you don't mind that. Um, it is what it is. Anyways, this accordion folder came from Amazon. In it is where I keep all of my sinking funds and all of my extra savings. So I just have various categories here. Um, I have made little labels with my label maker with each of my sinking fund categories. Hopefully you guys can see that. And um, I just keep my cash in these little slots and I keep this whole accordion folder in my safe. And that way I have the money on hand for my sinking funds when the sinking fund does get up too high and I feel uncomfortable having that amount of cash in my house I do take it to the bank but I just really like working in cash it feels more tangible when I can hold the cash in my hands um, and it's super fun to count the money every week and know that you know I'm hitting my financial goals so this week we are only saving for Saveopoly and for our monthly savings. So in my Saveopoly category, as you can see here, I have $34. I had saved up a total of like 277 and then I used that money to buy a new sofa, which I'm currently sitting on and I love. Um, and so we drained that fund and now we're kind of building it back up again. So we are going to add, what did I say? Let me pull my planner back over here. We're going to add $15 to Saveopoly. So let me move this out of the way. Zoom you guys back in so you can see. I like to keep track of my sinking funds right here on a little index card. Just so that, you know, I can keep track of it. So we're going to add $15 this week. That should mean I have a total of $49 in my Saveopoly fund. So we're going to add $15, 5, 10, 15. And I will go ahead and add these denominations in here. And then we'll count this up so I can make sure I have what I think I'm supposed to have. So it should have $49 if my math is correct here. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So that is accurate. So that is Saveopoly for the week. I'm just gonna put this back behind my Saveopoly tab. And then the only other funds that we are adding money to this week is monthly savings. I have my little March savings envelope. I got this from the Budget Mom. Um, she has a whole 2020 savings course that you can sign up for. It's like $10. You get a ton of printable items as well as instructions on fun ways to 
save money for every month of the year in 2020. Now, maybe savings aren't exactly the most important thing on your mind right now with everything going on, but if you are interested in signing up for that course, I will link it down below. It's been um, really helpful for me in saving money. So for March 17th, we are going to add $28 to this fund. which should mean we have $86 at the end of this. So I have the cash here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, $28. And we're going to add that to what we currently have in the envelope. And then we'll just see, make sure that we have $86 here. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. <clears throat> so that's $86 total for the month of March believe we have one more paycheck that we are going to use to add to our March savings. I may not do savings in April. Again, it's just going to depend on what's going on in the world, but hopefully we can at least finish out March strong. That's the goal. So go ahead and put this back behind my little tab here and we'll finish this video up. It's going to be a pretty short one this week. All right, you guys, so that is it for my weekly budget video. I know it was super short compared to how these usually go. They're usually like 45 minutes to an hour, but there just wasn't a whole lot to share with you guys this week. Not a whole lot of cash getting put away, but we're definitely saving as much money as possible, like I said, and hopefully when all of this craziness is behind us, we can continue to move forward with our financial goals. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you are doing in terms of your budget with these uncertain times with this coronavirus going around. I'd love to hear from you. Um, make sure that you are subscribed. I do new budget videos every single week. Um, I'd really love to have you as part of this channel and um, I would really love to have you back on this channel. I have a whole lot of fun sharing with you every week. So, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye.